Hi friends, welcome to Embedded Dye Labs. In this tutorial, we are going to design PCB for fully rectifier using Proteus IDE. To download the circuit diagram, follow the link which is given in the description box. Now open Proteus IDE. Click New Project. And save the project. Then click next, then se select create schematic and select default size and click next and select create PCB layout, select default template size and click on next. Then this is a layers which are associated with PCB, then click on next. It's not a firmware, so select no firmware project and click next and finish. Now two tabs opens in Proteus. One is to design schematic and another one is for PCB layout. First we have to create schematic. Now we have to pick components from components mode, click pick devices, we need sign source, just we sign, when you double click on that, it will be added in the device menu, then we need transformer, just stand center tapped. center tap then diode 1 and 4007 add it then we need input and output filter capacitors 1000 microfarad as input Like 24 volt, then we need 100 microfarad as output filter. So then, like 25 volt, then we need 7805 regulator. Then LED current limiting resistor for LED so seventy ohm current resistor point six watt. After selecting all the components, click OK. Now place the components. First, we sign AC source, then transformer. Next, we have to place diode for rectification. An input filter which is 1000 microfarad in regulator 7805 
an output filter which is 100 microfarad then current limiting wave system which is 470 ohm for LED then place LED then connect the components Then select ground from the terminals. Connect ground to zero volt of the center tap transformer and uh, circuit. Now to monitor the input and output, we need to place. AC voltmeter in the input and DC voltmeter in the output. If you want to see the full rectified fully rectified waveform, you can select oscilloscope. Just connect sine wave input from secondary and another one is rectified output. Just give values to source 325 volt which is peak volt which is equal to 230 volt RMS then 50 hertz frequency. Then primary inductance will be 336 mHenry and secondary is 1 mHenry and click OK. Then save the project. Now run. Now you can see that input is 231 volt. This is the AC wave at secondary. This is DC, which is filtered, rectified DC, which is filtered one. Now you can see that LED is glowing and output shows 5 volt. To see full wave rectified waveform without filter, you have to place load resistor across it. I have to remove capacitance for that you have to select switch this PST then 1k load resistor ok select switch place it here and place load resistor across it Now you can see that full, rect full wave rectifier. If you select capacitance, it will be pure DZ. Without filter, it shows 
equal and full wave rectified waveform if you adjust this to down you can see exact rectification of input and output Okay, our circuit is running. Now we have to, if you want to take output, just go to file, export graphics, export Adobe PDF file. Select current sheet and then click on OK. Now you see that circuit diagram. If you want to print that output, just click on that digital oscilloscope and click print. If you not have any default printer setup, just install Foxit Reader and make it as default Foxit Reader printer select that and print stop for the rectifier for this DSO shape files now you see the waveform which is input output it's okay for PCB we not need the input section of transformer and source and this oscilloscope switch and DC voltmeter we just delete that now for input and output we need to place terminals that is connectors then pick connectors from Component mode. Connectors. Click on Sill. Then select Connector Sill 2 and Connector Sill 3. 3 is for input and 2 is for output. Select 3. and connect it to diode and zero for ground and select two pin connector output name it as input and output so as output then save the file now go to PCB layout then click component mode you can see that LED is showing red mark which is shows that it does not have PCB package to select package go to schematic capture Click on LED. You see that PCB package in that component edit edit component mode. Click on search that is pineapple. So type LED. You see the LED preview. Then double click on that. It is now. PC package is selected as LED and click OK and save and go to PC below now you see that red mark gone now we are having all the components with PCB footprints see we are having all the components with PCB footprints now we have to place the components before placing components we have to 
draw the border that is board edge select rectangle and down go to board edge board edge is for selecting the board area in which the components to be placed edit the properties make the width line width as 15 click this graph only ok now place the now we have to place the components go to tools you can see auto placer click on auto placer select all the components then click ok now you see the components are placed but we need to arrange that input and output from input to output so just go to selection mode select the components and drag it We have placed the components. After placing the border is too big, so adjust the border. and save the file now go to traces in that select default and make the width to 30 update defaults 30 or 35 th and click ok now we have to auto route that components select auto router before getting to getting to router we have to give design rules which is from DOC design rule manager click on design rule manager design rules for pad to pad clearance that is between pads it will be 10 th and pad to trace it is 10 trace to trace it is 10 th graphics clearance 15 and edge slot clearance this is edge, edge to trace slot clearance is 15 th now go to net classes we are going to design single side PCB so make it as bottom copper horizontal and vertical are both are bottom copper then go to default then click on OK then go to auto router begin routing now you see that 
you zoom it is auto router if you see that parts of capacitors are small you can replace it by placing the parts just click ok on then click escape go to square see we are not having any DOCRS and COCRS this is a design rule check error this is a connectivity status connectivity rule check all are okay we need to name the PCB full wave rectifier Save the file. In order to print, print layout, select print layout. Click OK. Move the layout. Select bottom copper. Top silk. Remove top resist, bottom resist. Board edges needed. Select these three. Then click on OK. Okay friends, thank you. For any doubts, just post your comments below in the comment section or visit Embedded Dialabs. See you soon with another tutorial. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.